Professor Pee Wee here from Einstein's Entertainers. We hope you're all well. Now, because it's the Easter holidays, we thought we'd upload another science experiment that you guys can do at home. Now, today we're going to be showing you how to make a loop glider. But before we do that, I am terrible with all this technology, okay? So before we get started, I'm gonna need you guys to help me out, okay? Um, I need you to tell me where is a good place to stand, okay? And through the magic of computers, I want you all to be screaming at the screen and hopefully I should be able to hear you, okay? So um, so would, would this be a good place to stand? What, no, no. Okay, wait there, wait there. I think, I think I've got it now. Um, what about over here? Would this be a good place to stand? Well, no. Okay, wait there. I think, all right, this is, this is silly now. Okay, I think, I think I know where we can go. Okay, I think I know. Would this be a good place to stand? No, oh, no, that'd be terrible. Look, you can see all that of the, the nose and the bogeys. Now, that's awful. We don't want that. I tell you what, it would probably make the most sense, wouldn't it, if I just stood where I was at the start. Does, does, does that make sense? Is that, is that better? Yeah? Okay, now before we get started, okay, I think as well we need to check that there are no imposters here. So I need everyone to get their looking eyes out. Everyone get your looking eyes out like this. And then I need you to look around the room. Everyone go like this, everyone go, hmm. Yes, and then what we need to do is we need to get our fingers like this. And we need to open up our eyes and have a good look for imposters. Everyone have a look. Hmm, no, 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 everyone get really, really close to the camera. I'm gonna come really, really close to the camera so we can see if there's any imposters. Everyone get really close to the camera and have a look. Are there any imposters? Hmm, no. Okay, very good. Fantastic, guys. Now, I know that I introduced myself at the start, but some of you as well who haven't done our science experiments before might be wondering who I am. I am indeed Professor Pee Wee. What, what was wrong with that, what? I like to pee and I like to wee, all right? Okay, cool. Right, so we are indeed going to be having some fun today making some loop gliders. Now these loop gliders we found recently can actually fly further than paper aeroplanes, okay? And they're also really good if you're a little bit bored during the holidays. They're also really good for races. So if you all made one, you could have little races, okay, and see who could throw theirs the furthest. Now, to make a loop glider, you are going to need the following items. For this experiment, you will need some sticky tape, a straw, our loop glider template from off our website. Now, with this template, it would be really good. It helps the experiment if you could print it out on card. So I've printed ours out on yellow card and you can get this off our website. And you're also going to need a pair of scissors. Now, because we're using scissors, you're going to need to be careful because what I don't want later is I, want, I don't want loads of people calling me up and going, Professor Peewee, excuse me, my children chopped off their fingers because you didn't tell them to be careful. Okay, so we're going to need to be really, really careful because we're using scissors, okay? So, now, the first thing we need to do, can you see that we have got three rectangles on here? So that's because we've got three templates on this, on this piece of card. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to cut out one of these big rectangles. And remember to be careful of your fingers, okay? Now, once you've done that, you can save this bit for later because we're going to need one big rectangle for each person, okay? So if there's more of you, you could use the other one. But if there's just one of you, you just want to use the one big rectangle. And then what we're going to want to do is, do you see these lines here? We're now going to want to do two long cuts along here so that we end up with three separate rectangles okay so i'm going to cut along here as well and remember to be careful again cut along here so we've got one rectangle and then we've got two and three so then we end up with three rectangles now what we're going to do is we're now not going to need our scissors now is we're now going to want to grab two 
of the rectangles and you just want to let them overlap a little bit like that. So I want you to make them overlap so they're like this, just a little bit in the middle. And then we're going to want to grab our sticky tape and you're going to want to get a little bit of sticky tape and you're going to want to sticky tape these two bits together like that, okay? So we're sticky taping the two rectangles together. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip it over and then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So we've now got one really long rectangle and one smaller rectangle. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make these into a circle. Now I can see already people are going, what? How do you make that into a circle? Now it's really easy, okay? Because all you need to do is you just need to grab both ends of this big rectangle and then make them meet each other. So then we have a circle. And then you're going to need to grab your sticky tape again. And we're going to want to sticky tape these two ends of the rectangle. Make sure they overlap again like they were before. I'm going to sticky tape them together. Like that. So then we've got one big circle. And then we're going to do exactly the same, but for this one and it's going to be a smaller circle. So we're going to get our two corners again. We're going to let them meet together. Make sure they overlap a tiny bit. Can you see that there? And then we're going to sticky tape this together. Sticky tape that on there. So then we have got two circles. Can you see that? We've got a small circle and we've got a big circle. Now what we're going to want to do is we're now going to want to grab our straw, okay? So if you grab your straw now, you're now going to want to put a little bit of sticky tape again onto the end of your straw. Can you see like that? So I've sticky taped it on the end of our straw. And then what I'm going to do is I'm now going to grab our big circle and I'm going to put the straw into the big circle and then I'm going to sticky tape it down. Can you see? So I've sticky taped it onto our straw like that. Okay, so then we've got the big loop on one end and then we're going to do exactly the same but with the smaller one. Okay, and you want to make sure that it sticks up the same way. Can you see how they're sticking up the same way? Because you don't want one going down and one going up. You want them both upright like that. You want them both going the same way. And then we're going to sticky tape this one. Now this one's a bit fiddlier because I'm just putting it out there, Professor Pee Wee has got big sausage fingers, okay? So he finds it difficult to put his fingers in there, okay? You guys might be better, but Fee Professor Pee Wee is pretty fat, okay? Or his fingers are at least. So I struggle sometimes to put it on. So I'm going to put it in slowly. Put it on like that. It's a little bit fiddly this bit. But remember to make sure that it's sticking up the same way as the big loop. So we've got a small loop at the front and we've got a big loop at the back. And this is pretty much our glider ready to throw, okay? And I'm now gonna show you how to throw your glider. You're gonna to want to hold it like this. And I'm now gonna show you how to throw your glider. So we are indeed going to want to hold our little loop glider like it is a dart. And you can kind of aim when you want where you want it, where you want it to go. You can kind of do some aiming and you need to throw it, okay? And you should see when it goes, it will like loop around on itself, okay? So I'm gonna throw mine, ready? And it loops around and it's really cool. I managed then actually, it's pretty bad <laughs> what just happened, okay? There was a cat sleeping over there, okay? And I threw the loop glider and it accidentally might have woken her up. She was just like, wow, wow, what's that? Okay, so you might need to be careful when you throw yours not to accidentally hit your pets or even sleeping parents, okay? Don't throw them at sleeping parents, okay? So there you go, guys. That is your little loop glider. 
Now, what would also be fantastic is if you have made your loop glider, why don't you send in some photos or tag us on social media of you guys making your loop gliders. We'd love to see you. And also, maybe you should have, you could have videos of you showing us your races. That'd be brilliant. And also what we've recently launched as well, guys, is that we now have a mailing list. That, that means that if you wanted to be kept in the loop, or oh, that's a good pun considering we're making loop gliders, if you wanted to be kept in the loop about all of the different activities that we do, for instance, when we upload a, a new video or when we've got a workshop coming up or our parties or anything like that, you, could, you can come onto our mailing list. And also, we've recently got a shipment of all of these. We've got loads of these stickers and badges. And when you sign up to the mailing list, we will send you a sticker and a little experiment that you guys can do in the post. So if you wanted to be kept in the loop about all of the different things that we do here at Einstein's Entertainers, do subscribe to our mailing list. Or also, you could follow us on our social media. We are at Einstein's Entertainers. But if you did want to do some science experiments and get them in the post, and maybe even get a badge or a sticker, don't forget to subscribe to the mailing list. As always, guys, I have been Professor Pee Wee. It's been lovely to see you. See you soon, guys. Bye.